When following recipes, it is important to measure properly. Messing up can turn delicious into disaster. To measure properly, you need some basic items in your kitchen. First, measuring spoons usually range from 1 8 teaspoon up to 1 tablespoon. These are useful for spices and other small quantity measurements. Next, dry measuring cups generally range from 1 quarter cup up to 1 cup and are good for measuring most dry ingredients like flour or sugar. Finally, a liquid measuring cup is great for measuring milk or other liquids since it is usually larger and it is see-through to make items easier to measure. A scale is a measuring item that is good if your recipe calls for a specific weight of something. However, this is less common in American recipes and you can probably get along without one. When measuring dry items like spices, flour, salt, sugar, or other dry items, place the items in the cup and fill it up slightly over the top without packing it. Then, use the back of a knife to level off your measuring cup or spoon to ensure proper measurement. One special ingredient in measuring is brown sugar. Pack the sugar into the cup with the back of a spoon and scrape off the top again with the back of a knife. When you dump it out, it should take the shape of a cup. Also make sure to pack lard or Crisco into a cup to make sure the air pockets all get pressed out. When measuring butter or margarine, check the outside of the container and cut off the amount you need. When measuring liquid ingredients, make sure to measure on the counter and get down at eye level to make sure the amount is correct. If you are measuring something sticky like honey, make it easier by spraying the liquid measuring cup with non-stick spray ahead of time. One final tip is to make sure you never measure ingredients over the mixing bowl, because if you spill or add too much, the entire recipe is ruined. Instead, measure over an extra bowl or wax paper. Now, go out and measure well and cook delicious food.